Hi, and welcome to this video on the Flux channel. Today we'll be looking at the Sira plugin. If this kind of content interests you, feel free to subscribe and activate the bell to stay informed of any future content. Sira is a tool used for dynamic treatment, combining a compressor and a de-expander. The compressor enables us to treat the high levels by reducing their intensity, while the de-expander enables us to treat the low levels by lifting their intensity. The dynamic processor behind the Sira is the same as that of the Solera, the difference between the two being the user interface and the way that the latter accesses different settings. In this regard, the Sira is equipped with unique parameters that were conceived for a more creative and simple way of approaching dynamic treatment. One of Sira's distinctive characteristics is that it reacts both to the volume as well as the variation in dynamics. In other words, the louder the signal, the more the Sira compresses, which is normal for a compressor, but also the faster the variation in the signal, again, the more the Sira compresses. This second detection is independent of the volume. During this tutorial, I'll demonstrate the Sira in several different applications, on drums, vocals, as well as an entire mix. If you want to go straight to the audio examples, just follow the time shown here on the screen. But first, let's take a moment to look at Sira's different settings. We can divide the interface into four parts. Gain management, the time constant control, the amount of dynamic reduction, and finally, the signal display. The gain management section is very simple. It allows us to change the input and output gains, as well as blend our treated and untreated signals. There is also a clipper that clips the signal when it passes 0 dBFS or plus 16 dBVU in the Sira. The clipper, of course, enables us to add saturation to the signal. The dynamic reduction is first controlled via the interface's main button, labelled Amount. By default, this is set to 0, compressing more as we turn it up. There are many options associated with this setting. The channel link allows us to have identical dynamic reduction over the different channels. For further information on this function, please refer to our Elixir tutorial. The boost augments both the dynamic reduction and Sira's general compression. Inverse allows us to inverse the curve of Sira's envelope to achieve creative effects. MS enables the Sira to function on the central and lateral components of a stereo signal instead of just the left and right channels. Working in MS can modify the initial width of the source. It's for this reason that we have the width setting, in order to compensate for this effect. Finally, we also have three potentiometers. The thickness parameter allows us to set the quantity of the expansion used by the algorithm. The relax parameter enables the dynamic compression ratio. So if the signal surpasses the threshold slightly, the ratio will be lower. If it surpasses greatly, it will be higher. Relax bass enables us to attenuate the circuit's detection of bass frequencies. The higher the setting, the less the bass frequencies will trigger the compressor. In Sira, the speed refers to the behaviour of the attack, and the velocity to that of the release. The lower the percentage of the speed, the faster the attack. The higher the percentage of the velocity, the faster the compressor's release time. The different modes in Sira enable us to change the compressor's behaviour according to the nature of the signal. In dynamic, soft and deep modes, many parameters become dynamic and depend on the signal's peaks. Dynamic deep mode makes the effect of the compressor more audible. This mode is therefore ideal for creative effects. In static mode, the Sira behaves more like a normal compressor and no longer adapts to the input signal. Finally, the look ahead allows us to perfectly synchronize the detection and compression circuits. This allows us to compress a transient to the nearest sample. After this general tour of the Sira, I'd now like to show you some audio examples. I have here a multi-track recording of the Afrobeat group Akali Wube. I've used the Sira to achieve all my compression. So I'll now show you all my different settings, and after that I'll demonstrate the Sira on a vocal track. Let's begin with the drum bus, on which I use the Sira to apply parallel compression. Here I'd like to compress quite aggressively in order to thicken the sound with a quick attack. However, I've chosen not to use the look ahead as that brings a texture of compression that I find more interesting when applied to a drum bus. I'll now play you the drums completely compressed. So, I've decided to set the amount to 100%.
the thickness parameter adds density to the drums, while the relax function tones down the compression, making it a little less caricatural. But above all, I've let the bass frequency slip through a little in order to avoid a pumping effect on the kick drum. Here I've chosen the dynamic deep mode, as it seemed to have the most interesting colour for this type of treatment. The speed is set to very quick, and the velocity also. Once I've found the setting in Sierra that brings the glue effect that I want on the drums, I'll come here to the dry mix in order to reintroduce the untreated signal and thus create my parallel compression. Without the Sierra, with the Sierra, I'll now show you what the Sierra can do on an entire mix. This setting in the Sierra comes straight from the Parallel Enhancer Soft preset. The objective of this compressor preset is to raise the RMS level without raising the peak level. For this we'll choose the static mode and we'll activate the look ahead function. We'll also set the attack time to zero in order to treat the transients more precisely. As we wish to raise the RMS level, we'll compress quite severely with the amount at 100%, the thickness at 100% and also the relax at 100%. So let's listen to this setting without using the dry mix. This setting's very interesting as it creates a glue in the mix, but obviously we're introducing far too many artifacts from the compression, so we're going to re-inject the original signal by using the dry mix function. So without the Sierra, and now with the Sierra, we rediscover the glue effect brought by the compressor without having to sacrifice the dynamics and groove of the track. I should highlight here that the channel link is activated, so the treatment of the left and right channels is identical, conserving the stereo image of our mix. Let's go to another multi-track recording and apply this to a vocal. I have here a very dynamic recording of an acoustic song sung by a female vocalist. Take a listen. It's always there. Here we clearly have some compression to do in order to smooth out the vocal and maintain its place at the heart of the mix. For that, we can definitely use the Sierra. My first objective will be to reduce any transients that stand out in the vocal track. For that, I've activated the look ahead and set the speed to zero. Like this, Sierra's algorithm will be highly reactive to the transients. My second objective is to raise the lower levels in order to reduce the dynamic variation in the vocal. That's why I've added some thickness. I also like to play with the relax parameter to make the compression more transparent. No parallel compression here, as I've set the amount to a more reasonable level than the previous demonstrations of the Sierra. Let's listen to the result. It's always best when the light is off. It's always better on the outside. Let's listen again without the Sierra. It's always best when the light is off. It's always better on the outside. 
and let's listen the last time with the Sira. It's always best when the light is off. It's always better on the outside. Oh, 15 blow. By using the Sira, we managed to smooth out the dynamic of the vocal quite dramatically. The phrase endings are more solid, the plosives are attenuated, and the voice is better integrated in the mix. I hope that these examples have shown clearly that the Sira proposes an intuitive and creative approach to dynamic treatment, all the while remaining highly versatile. It allows us to smooth out a vocal, or just as well bring colour to a drum bus, or raise the RMS level of a whole mix. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, feel free to subscribe and activate the bell to keep informed about any future content. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below. And on that note, I'll see you in the future video.